Today I'm going to talk about haters and to ignore compelling drama around their inciting eyes. I don't like haters. I don't like comments that are bleakful and distasteful. You know, the internet, it's very devilish. There's a lot of satanic people and a lot of atheists that get paid to not talk about God or Jesus Christ or the Holy Spirit. And that's the reason why. Life is a game, okay? Whenever you want to get up in the competition field, you're all about, oh, I got this new hot sauce taco. Stuff like this, you know, you're thinking, you know, in a way, in reality and balance, that is it worth it or is it worth it going to the afterlife? And then think about a lot of things that, you know, it, it is worth it going to the afterlife because you have no drama, you have no depression, you have no anxiety, you don't have anything. All you are is just happy and blissful and you have a lot of energy tanked around the surface of what heaven is all about. And, you know, people think, oh, yeah, yeah, schizoaffective and blah, blah, this disease disorder because I believe in Jesus Christ. And another thing about that, that I know he's real, um, I know God's real, the Holy Spirit, and the angels up in heaven, and there is a hell, and it's not a good place to go. It's just like jail. The first side of hell is jail, but you got to realize that life is a game. It plays with you like a trigger card, and if you don't do anything right, you're going to be into, well, I say depth and balance of negativity all around you and it's a lot of negative energy around here nowadays lots of negative energy and it will get you to corrupted fields that's why most of the government and most of the um, Hollywood producers and directors and actors are all oh I'm all jiffy and spicy right 